Hey guys, it's Rachel from Paper Ventures and today I'm doing an Adele inspired grab five video for snail mail. So the first thing I got there was some flare buttons all made by my good friend Becky. Second thing I have in that cup are some random stickers from the Maggie Holmes um, open book collection. The ephemera on the right is from a, an Amy Tangerine collection, Oh Happy Life, or I don't know, something like that. The fourth thing I showed you were some um, alphas from uh, Target. They're just plain white. They're like a large print. And then here is the crepe paper Hello Love Collections paper that I will use as well. So um, I'll just kind of tell you what I'm doing first and then um, I'll tell you, I'll explain this grab five thing if you've never heard of it. So anyway, um, I'm making a flip book today. It's not like your regular flip book and it's not like an envelope flip book either, but it is using an envelope. So what I've done is I've taken an envelope that, um, that is already made and then I cut a, a 12 by 12 paper in half and I, um, scored it at every, every four inches. And then I just trimmed it down to size and I'm kind of going to make like a flip book on the side, if that kind of makes sense. If you can see it there, I'm going to attach it and then it kind of folds in nicely there. So it would be nice if it was double sided paper, but it's not, but that's okay. I'm going to fix that. So there you saw again, I scored it at four and eight inches and I'm going to attach the back flap to the back of um, the envelope. I'm just going to trim it to size there. So I'm going to put tape on it and adhere it. So the back, yeah, looks like that. So I'm not going to decorate the back, but it, at least it has some nice paper on it. And then I'm going to use some other scraps. There's my cat Harvey. Sorry about that. Um, I'm going to add some other scraps to, um, embellish the other pages because it's not double-sided. Okay. So I'm doing what I said was called a grab five. This is from Adele from Inky Quill. I am assuming she thought of the idea because I haven't seen it anywhere else. Um, so I'm going to give the credit to her. I'll link all of her stuff down below, all of her information, and you can check her out. She's a great inspiration for scrapbooking and mixed media art and stuff. So you can go check her out. Um... So I got this grab five idea from her, except I'm doing a happy mail version. Usually she, well, she always does it for scrapbook or project life, but I wanted to do it for happy mail. So personally, I think it's such a great way to use up either your last bits and pieces of like a collection or something, or something that you got from a friend that you just don't know how to use, or I don't know, things that you've been really wanting to use, or you've been hoarding, but you just are afraid to use them. It's you, this, this is a good way to step out of that and to just finally use them. So, um, for example, the stickers, the Maggie home stickers, I just have a few stickers left, but I wanted to just like get rid of them, get used, get, um, get them used. I, um, I've used that collection a lot, so I s still have a little bit left, but not like, not a lot of it. I just have bits and pieces left. So I just kind of want to use up that collection and move on to the next one. Even though I love it, I just want to kind of move on to the next, the next one. All right. And then as for my flare buttons, I love them and I hoard them. <laughs> They're from Becky. I'll link her stuff down below. I hoard them so bad because they are so wonderful and they're so cute. And, uh, but she always gives me some when she gives me mail. So that I've noticed at least. So it's kind of promising that like, I won't, <laughs> I won't run out too soon. So that's always a good thing. Um, so I was like trying to force myself to use some because, um, I didn't want to hoard it because I love them so much. And then the ephemera from the Amy Tan collection, I just have so much of it and so many cut aparts too, that I kind of mixed all together. So I wanted to use some of that. Oh man, I've been talking so much. I missed the beginning. So basically what I did was I took, um, I took like, um, I don't know, what are they like thickers that said hello and, uh, kind of put it in the middle and cut it in half to make like the opening page, like, hello, welcome to this flip book. 
So at first I was like, oh, now this looks kind of funny because there's like half of a word on each one. But so then that's why I put the tape to kind of like the washi tape to kind of divide it up. And I think that looks okay. So that tag is from, it's actually from the Heart Day collection. I thought it was from Hello Love, but it's actually from Heart Day. So um, yeah, but that's fine. I use other, other Hello Love stuff. So anyway, um, I kind of have it mixed together. So I think that's why. So I was going to um, put Thai on this tag, like H-I, but then I didn't have an H. So then I put the word yes, because that's the only other short word I could think of. <laughs> and I think that looks pretty good. Um, and then I use a flare button. So, so far I've used almost everything. So I've used these letters and I've used a flare button. I've used... Um, the paper, the Hello Love paper. And as you can see, I didn't have an E, so I'm kind of making an E out of an F, and I don't see a problem with that. I think it looks just fine. So there we go. And then I'm going to put the flare button to kind of cover it up a little bit. So it works out just fine. Okay, what next? Oh yeah, so that's, that's how you can see the front cover. I cut that word in half and then wrote the word girl with some other thickers from American Crafts. And now I am using the ephemera from the Amy Tan collection and stapling it on. And I think that's a cute little front cover. Okay, moving on to the next page, I'm gonna create a little bit of a pocket again with this paper. So it's perfect. I'm using lots of the paper. It all coordinates and um, I'm achieving my goal. So that's awesome. I'm going to adhere that on. In a minute, I will eventually. <laughs> there we go. So I kind of fold it in the side so the pocket is a little bit bigger. And oh yes, I am gonna take a doily, put that down, nice gold one. And that'll be a spot for tags. And yeah, now is the next flap. So that is on the right flap. It's kind of confusing, but I don't know. Hope it's not too confusing. So these are cut aparts from the um, the Amy Tangerine collection. So I think then that's all of them. I've used everything. So that's pretty awesome. I'm just going to put some ch um, old chipboard on the back of that cut apart that says beautiful. And then use the same thickers that I used earlier to uh, make sure there's consistency and write the word friend. Next, I'm going to do something. What am I going to do? Oh, yes. I'm going to use more of the black stickers, the foam stickers, and then more flare buttons. There we go. To kind of pull that black in, that the word please and the word friend are black. So I kind of wanted it to be pretty cohesive. Um, and now I'm going to make an envelope because I'm going to put an envelope on the other side. This flipbook doesn't really have many pockets or anything, so I need to kind of make my own, because usually when I make like a regular size envelope flipbook, there's tons of pockets because I'm using envelopes, but uh, for something like this, there's not. So I'm using my envelope punch board from We Are Memory Keepers, and it's very handy. I love it. I definitely think it's an essential for happy mail making. And at first I was going to just put it on one of the pages, but then I'm like, oh, I should use it as like a flip in the flip book. So that's what I'm doing. And I love it so much. <laughs> so I'm going to, so I adhered that on and then I'm going to uh, put another cut apart on. So that's awesome that I'm using so many. I'm really glad that um, I picked items that are working well together. So that's good. And then I just have so many of these numbers. I just put one, two, three. So I don't know if I should write like three facts about myself inside or three questions, tag questions or what it'll be, but I'll do something. I just wanted to use those numbers because I don't know what else I'll do with them. Actually, I do have an idea that I might do a scrapbook layout with them, but I'll show you that later. And that butterfly was made by my good friend, Kira. I will also put her information down below so you can go check her out. Super talented. 
This, uh, that sticker is from, uh, the stickers from the Maggie Holmes collection. And then that's actually chipboard from the collection as well. And another flare button goes on. Cool. So I'm liking the way that looks. And actually, I think I do miss a part. That's a cute cut apart. That cut apart is from Maggie Holmes Chasing Dreams. Anyway, sorry. I do miss a part, um, a lot of decorating the envelope, but you'll be able to see that in the, uh, in the photos or in the, um, like the video where I, I pan over everything. So you'll be able to see it there. That's the only part I missed right here. You got to see the start of it, but then it cuts off because I was just, you know, when you get so focused on a project, well, for those other YouTubers, and then you just like, you don't think that you're filming because you're just kind of going with it. And then you're like, oh, wait, my battery's died or my camera's full or something. Something happens. You're like, whoops. So there's the front cover and open it up. And here's the inside. I added a mini envelope and other bits and bobs. And so that's the left side of the inside, the right side of the inside. And then you fold it in. It's kind of a confusing flip book, but I like it. There's the inside. Flip over the envelope. And the other side. So thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.